Power creep has been an emerging problem for magic in the last few years. A lot of people will talk about it, make examples, and say why it is so bad. Yet no one really has a solution to fix the problem beyond printing weaker or less cards in the future. But these aren't really good answers since we don't need to lower the power level of cards, since in modern we already have a lot of staples dictating the format. If we lower the power level of cards printed, then the format will not change since weaker cards won't be good enough to compete with all of this. We need new powerful cards to come out in order to help certain decks make new brews and switch things up to keep Marn from getting stale. Yet the issue is when we get too much change. Every time a Marn Horizon set comes out, the format drastically changes to the point where it looks completely different just three years ago. Which destroys the reason why the format was made and why so many people played it to begin with. Modern was created so we could have a non-rotating format that isn't as fast and expensive as Legacy. So having the format constantly change every time a new Modern Horizon set comes out goes against why the format was made and makes some modern decks cost as much to maintain as a Legacy deck. So rather than try to get rid of power creep, we need to balance it properly. To do this, I came up with a bit of a wild idea, so please hear me out before you start raging in the comments. The idea is, rather than have something like MH3 come out with a million new staples all at once, Wizards of the Coast will pick the high-end staples from that set and release them into the format one at a time with a round of month in between each release. So here's the thing. If we only get a new staple every month, then we have more time to focus on each card that comes out and can have more fun speculating on it and making brews around it. There would also be much slower changes in the format, so decks will stay around for longer. And since the new cards come out a month after another, Wizards of the Coast can look at the current format when they are making new cards so they can support struggling decks before they are completely gone, and they can also print heat for broken decks more easily. It also keeps things more interesting because there will be something new to play or play against each month while still keeping the format easily recognizable. And it would also be less straining on people's wallets because you're seeking out one card at a time rather than the five cards that just came out that you happen to need. But how would we even go about making something like this happen? Well, I think we could implement this in a similar manner to how secret layers are made, but we would do it the right way. Rather than Wizards of the Coast sell directly to the customer, we would bring back LGS Interaction. Wizards would sell the monthly staples to local game stores a few weeks in advance, and then the LGS would sell those cards to their customers at a set price, which shouldn't be more than $20 per card. This would help make some extra sales for struggling LGSs and gives customers more satisfaction in their purchase since you're not waiting six months to get your piece of cardboard in an unknown condition. Yet if these were all one-time releases, the prices would go crazy in the secondary market once the cards are no longer easily accessible. Well, my idea was that at the end of each year, Wizards of the Coast would promise to put all these new cards into a master's product as the chase rares and mythics for the set, and we fill it with new commons, uncommons, and weaker rares, and it would mainly be a reprint set with a few extra interesting playables. These cards would not be on a reserved list of any sort, and should be reprinted every 3-5 to five years depending on how expensive they are. Yet remember, there is no way to make modern perfect, and I'm not saying we need to do this in order to make modern fun. Modern is already a really cool format. I'm just bringing up a hypothetical scenario which may or may not be something we're thinking about. Before you leave, I'd like to bring up our sponsor, Fusion Gaming. They have everything you need for magic, between cards, playmats, packs, and deck boxes. So if you need to pick up anything, try Fusion. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.